Yo, what's good? It's Pluto here in today's video. I'm talking about why being selfish is needed. But anyway, before we get started, I appreciate the support on all three platforms. Make sure you like, subscribe, and all that on this one too, on YouTube. But before we get started too, I wanted to say that I've been working on, you know, the shorts. You can see in the shorts. Kind of like still kind of like getting used to the algorithm with them, trying out different things. But those shorts, they take a while to edit, like 30, 40 minutes to edit. But I mean, it's not too bad. It's honestly not that boring. It's actually kind of fun. But yeah, for sure. I'm going to keep those shorts. I pump it out. I might do two sometimes. We'll see. But anyway, today's topic that I'm going to be talking about being selfish and why it is needed sometimes. Now, look, as there is everything, there is exception to the rule. It is not good to be selfish literally all the fucking time because literally everyone will hate you. It's just like, but things are one like the, the exception to every rule. I mean, firsthand, most people know that there's exceptions to rules. Like, for example, like when you're winning, people, there's going to be people that hate on you. Whether, whether you know them online or not, there's going to be people that hate on you. And it's not to say like, oh, so let me get as much people to hate on me as possible. So that must be no winning. No, not fucking really. But I think if you're kind of like a smart ass or just a fucking you know, like blatant idiot, then maybe you might think like that. But I think for the most part, people are not like that. But anyway, what's selfishness? Selfishness. I'm going to talk about um, how people normally have the negative connotation to it. What do you think of like being selfish? It's always negative. But it's needed, man. When you're trying to get your fucking goals, bro, let's say like you, there's you and a group of people, right? Th three people, right? You... You're the one who's a grinder and all that, right? And then the other two are kind of like, this guy's a fucking loser. Three's a loser. And two is somewhat there. Not really. He's still kind of a loser, but not maybe as bad as three, right? But the thing is, though, when you're a grinder, when you are a grinder, you need to, like, do anything you can to get there. And to a degree, that is being selfish, if you really think about it. Like, locked in your room, 14 hours, don't talk to anyone. All you're doing is, you know, making videos, editing videos, Looking at different strategies, reading, everything. Anything that's really good. Some people work out, fucking read, all that shit. When you're selfish, you ha when you're when you're trying to get success, you have to be selfish. There you go. Kinda like said like the fucking wrong thing. But you have to be selfish to get success, really. It's almost impossible to like bring someone it's like an anchor. It's like a think of a boat, right? And like you have your, your yacht, you're trying to build your yacht and there's this anchor just tanking it, just tanking it. Those are like the people that are like, I mean, your friends, I guess. It could be anyone, really. It can be family. Like sometimes family can be fucking annoying and you have to cut them off to get your goal. But for sure, being selfish is needed for being success. And I think that's kind of like a, a lot of people talk about, um, oh, you need to work hard and all and all this, right? Work hard, knowledge. Okay, of, of course, I think everyone legitimately fucking knows that. But you have to work hard in the right thing. But that's the topic for another video. Because you could work hard in like a fucking McDonald's. You could literally work overtime. It doesn't mean you're going to be successful, right? But the point is, is that when, okay, let's say when you're getting your success, right? Think of all, most of the people that got success. I can't say all because there's some people that are not like, that are different from most people. Because some are born with it. Some have gotten it through pure luck, which it does have a degree of skill. But if it's the most part luck and some of it, of course, is like legitimately no skill, like, them TikTok bitches, bro. I'm sorry, I gotta hate you, bro. But, like, come on now, bro. Like, really? They just doing dances in front of a fucking camera and get a million fucking followers in, like, in like a couple of months, bro. Like, come on now. Come on now. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is when, when you're getting, like, success, right? When you're uploading those YouTube videos, like how I'm doing right now, every week, every every two, not every two weeks, but like two videos every week, sometimes even three. I think I uploaded three videos last week. I'm not sure. But I know for sure I did two. But much already three, but when you're on that type of grinding, and there's other people that just like just don't fucking care. Why, why would you want to take them with you, man? Like really, why would you want to take them with you? Because what they're gonna do is they're gonna like they're gonna bring you down, but not like sometimes it won't be on purpose, but it can be like that. Like the people that are around you the most, or is who you would become. And there's some people I'm not gonna lie that you could be like you could be around them, right? And they're idiots, but you're still like not an idiot, but. I think that's kind of like a school thing. Like, if you're around someone at school, it's not going to really rub off on you too much. It is, but I think it's when you spend time out of school is when it kind of, like, it really starts to influence you. Because there's, there's technically, I mean, there is rules, but it's a lot. I mean, there's a lot more freedom when you go to someone's house or whatever, right? But for sure, though, 
like you have to cut those people off if need be because I, I, re, I mean I've said like four times there there will be that anchor dragging your ship down and not just that too if you become success speaking of like ships and shit a rising tide raises all boats so if you're gonna be successful and the other people like if like if they hang around you enough it's kind of like it's a little bit of contradictions like the most people they hang around with like the the drag you down but the thing is though there is it's rare that's the thing it's rare when you could like when someone like completely becomes like from an idiot to like a legitimate like grinder like when someone that wants to get this like reading all that shit because today when you see someone read or anything right they're portrayed as a, as a nerd and a lot of people like to fit in to like like the like the how I said the trend like of being a teenager for the most part I mean in an adulthood it's true too but I can only speak for myself but for sure though that like reading a book and shit's kind of like I guess a nerd thing somewhat not really I mean I kind of I guess it depends on what but I've been seeing people read a bit more so honestly I feel like maybe at least where I'm at it's kind of going down but again the world doesn't fucking revolve around me so who am I to say that but for sure there's sometimes when you're being like successful and other people see you doing that and they kind of get that that reassurance like over and over and over like oh what did you do this week and oh I was reading I was grinding upload YouTube videos like bro you should do that too and at first I'll kind of like think about it but shrug it off but then when you kind of put that again and again and again and again, maybe they might do something. But at the end of the day, like I said, and think the previous video, you can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make a drink. So it's really up to them to do the ultimate decision. I think I did, or was it a TikTok video? Anyway, that's not the point. But that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, all that. Keep grinding, and we got higher mountains to climb. Y'all stay blessed. I'm out.